So um, again, I am Tiana Smith with TianaSmithCoaching.com. I teach and help set up systems for entrepreneurs so you can create six figure and even seven figure and above uh, in, in part-time hours. If it's the six figures, I don't know about seven in part-time hours. If you get your system in place, maybe. And, um, and do that working from anywhere. So whether you're a, a parent and you're at home, like most of the world right now, <laughs> or if you want to set yourself up to travel overseas and, and just be able to make money from anywhere, anytime, as long as you have Wi-Fi, that's what I teach people how to do, but with very specific systems. So you don't need to guess anymore. So part of my marketing and my training where I've closed most of my sales has actually been my Facebook profile. It's a little secret. Okay. So I treat my Facebook profile like a Facebook business page. Now I want to say right here and now I don't work for Facebook and they constantly change policies. So I'm going to let you know any numbers I share about sales and anything about Facebook like um, it's what I have knowledge of right now and feel free to have a lawyer, uh, go into Facebook policies, send questions. Okay. I'm just going to, there's a little disclaimer. So jumping into that, let me just share my story. So, um, when I started working on social media, even before I got my master's degree in it, Facebook was the first thing in the, in the music business. Um, my, my background is the music business. If you're unaware, I've worked at Sony records. I actually have a Sony publishing deal as well as a songwriter of other publishing deals. And I've utilized social media marketing and online marketing, even things like Yelp and websites and things like that for years. And I will tell you that most by far profitable way of marketing myself online has been Facebook. Now, even though I personally utilize and teach in and uh, train to post not just on my Facebook profile, but on Instagram and Facebook business page, and even LinkedIn or Twitter, the profile is where I get my highest conversions uh, consistently. Part of this is this, let me talk to you about the psychology of this before I teach you what to do today to jump in. I'm going to be sharing my screen. So what I'm going to do is give you why it works right now, the psychology, and then I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to share with you exactly how to arrange your profile so you look like a business. But I'm not going to show you how to do that until you really truly understand why it works. So here's the thing, a profile is personal. Say that with me now, profile is personal, a page is public. If you go to a Facebook business page, like facebook.com slash Tiana Smith coaching, that's my Facebook URL. This one you're on right now, if you're watching this from my profile, I'll be sharing this to uh, my other outlets, my groups. But if you're watching this video from facebook.com slash Tiana star, that's a URL to add me as a friend. Now, as we know, nobody, there is a max out of 5,000 friends on Facebook. Not sure if you know this. So you can only have up to 5,000 friends on Facebook. Public pages like Facebook business page or Instagram, which Facebook owns Instagram and WhatsApp. Let's be acknowledgeable, uh, knowledgeable, excuse me, not acknowledgeable, knowledgeable about what's really going on. So if Facebook owns Instagram and Facebook owns WhatsApp and all these things are connected and probably other things we don't know about. That's great. Play the game. I'm so not complaining. I praise God for Facebook every day. Look, you, what you give power to uh, is what you're going to see, what you focus on. So I focus on the fact, let's use this game. I get to stay home with my kids. Um, well, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm making a living here uh, from Facebook marketing. So why the profile is different than the page is this. When something is personal, even though we all know we don't really personally know each other, um, you know, I am showing up just being myself. And this is why video is important. But the profile and it being private meaning you have to click add friend and I have to accept it. It gives a different level of exclusivity and more of a friendship. It just does. And that's a psychology, uh, a psychology point of a Facebook profile. There's a second part. Uh, Facebook, it's an interesting thing where it's actually a little tricky to tag pages. Well, why does that make it really important to be using your profile? Because I get a ton of referrals in Facebook groups, as well as just people, um, somebody does a post and then somebody tags my personal profile. They don't even know how to tag my page. Most people aren't as savvy online, including business owners as I am. So um, most people don't realize you actually usually need to use the at symbol, the at symbol on the keyboard, the two shift two and the page name but because page names don't always match the name. So here's what's missing out. If you're not using your Facebook profile just the exact same way you're using your business page, but still following Facebook guidelines, 
heads up over here, just paying attention here. Facebook profile has different rules than Facebook pages. There is There are rules about sales. There are rules about um, your website being on it. Just you're going to need to research that. I don't have time to explain it all today, and it changes all the time. But um, if you worked with me one-on-one, -on -one, we could talk more about it. But the thing is that the profile, if somebody tags me, which happens all the time. I mean, I get thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of business for speaking gigs, for referrals, because people tagged my personal profile. So if you're like, but all these people follow me, whatever guys, are they paying your bills? So anyone that's following you needs to know what you're doing in business. I use my Facebook profile the exact same way that I use my Facebook business page and my Instagram. So he's my personal friend. They have my cell phone number and they will text me if they want to meet with me. Stop getting it twisted and start to make money with your Facebook profile. And I'm going to show you how. Now, these are the same strategies. They're a little different because the profile, and I actually feel like, and I've not researched all this. There are some people out there and they like spend their time researching it. And, and I will do that too when necessary. But just from the vibe of it, they've made it now we can change our profile. Um, there's some featured images and I'm going to show you how to do that. I, I think like they're they're letting us do it a little bit more, but again, there are policies. So I'm gonna share with you today how to set your Facebook profile up so it looks professional. So if you're in a Facebook business group and somebody you're adding people as friends, which is extending your network, do not let the word Facebook friend fool you from really realizing that is a potential client who could pay you money. All right. Now I'm not into spamming. I'm not into pitching. Um, you guys know that a lot of my clients, yes, they found me because we're in a group together. There's a specific way and I'm not going to go into the marketing piece of it because there's not time. I'm going to teach you today how to set it up. Does that make sense? Type the number two in the comments. So if that makes sense, what I'm saying about, um, you know, it's like, Number two in the comments, if it makes sense, what I'm sharing about this, this process here, okay? So number two in the comments. So let's do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive in right now. Let's set it up. So if you have questions, put it in the comments. I'm going to go through and answer every question. But there's an element of trust. I've closed over half a million dollars in sales from my Facebook profile leads, personally. That's not counting the celebrities, the startup entrepreneurs and the hundreds of clients I've served, setting them up in similar ways. I'm talking personal, okay? So this is so effective. If you're ready to stop guessing and to stop making excuses about why you're not using your personal Facebook profile to reach people that would not otherwise find out about you, look, here's the deal. Let me give you one more little thing. Look, if they're not paying your bills and they're not raising your kids, it doesn't matter what people think. If there's people on your profile, then start a new profile or delete people off of it. Let them know that. Like, but the truth is most people, it's just an excuse. Me, I don't care if people see it and they're just personal friends. They know I'm in here on business. I'm sharing some personal things too because I have a personal brand, but it's not like dirty laundry. You don't air your dirty laundry. I'm not getting all political either. A Facebook post isn't going to change somebody's opinion. I'm using my Facebook profile to brand and grow my business and create profits so I can diversify my profits for investments and I can support my children in California. That's how I look at it. And if you're thinking any other thoughts about that, you're either not taking it serious enough or you're not willing to let your insecurities die so you can support your family using something as cool as a Facebook profile. I just think it's incredible. So we're going to go away from that. We're going to go into design and fun, but I wanted to give you the seriousness of that. And I do it with fun and alignment. You've seen my posts. I'll talk, uh, I'll talk a little bit about posts. I'm not really going to talk about posts too much today though. Um, I'm talking about how to set it up for success and to look professional. So here's what I encourage you to do. I encourage you to shut down every other window. I encourage you to listen to what I'm saying this round. Then later, um, when you're ready, either right after this video live, like let it sink in the philosophy, look at the training. This is a way of learning. There's a specific way of learning to really let things sink in. Okay, so put away all the other things. I'm gonna be giving you my undivided time and attention right here, right now for free. This video is going down in less than 24 hours. So if you wanna learn how you can be closing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of deals also, I'm gonna share it with you right now for free. And then this is coming down and I'm gonna put this training into paid training. So let's do it. All right, so here's first stop. 
I've been talking to you guys about all week. I can't, there's, it's one day at a time about the importance of your messaging and your branding, right? We talked about earlier this week, it's so important to have colors, um, fonts, logos, professional photos, and then your messaging. Okay, and cleaning up over here. So first, what I recommend you do, and this is me just like, like something inside me, like don't tell them all, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give it to you, the thing that I would only share with paid people, because this video is coming down. You need to look at my profile as an example. Now don't copy my words, that's, that's copying. What I'm saying is though, if, if, if you're telling people what it is you do, how you do it, and you gotta fit it in here. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not gonna talk about Instagram, I'm not even gonna talk about the Facebook business page today. I'm gonna just talk about the profile so we can get this done in the next 15 minutes or so. So what, you, what you're gonna need to do later, and I'm gonna show you how to do this over here in Canva, is there's a specific way and sizing that works for the profile is different than a business page. Now, the thing with Canva is over here, if you go to templates, you can see Canva templates over here. This is the header. So what I'm gonna talk about right now is, I'm gonna close down all these other windows so nothing gets slowed down too. One second doing business coaching and all that stuff. So when I'm focusing on things too, I always close down every window except the ones that I need to stay focused. I also always have a to-do list, just to show you this real quick, beside me so that I am focused. No distractions. All these windows, all this stuff, it takes some discipline. Like don't speak to yourself, oh, I'm all this or I'm always distracted. You are what you tell yourself. So I say I'm really focused and I'm gonna make a lot of money. So if that's what you wanna do, say I'm really focused and I'm gonna make a lot of money. So close down all other windows. And then so I have Canva open, okay? Now what I wanna point out to you is, do you see how this is aligned here? Let me show you why. When you go and check this stuff, you need to check it on Facebook on the, I'm sorry, on Facebook, definitely, on your mobile phone. Do you see this? It's on your mobile phone and you can still see my logo and you can still see the explanation of it. That's a very specific tried and true template I personally created. Now I'm not gonna give you that template for free. Um, that is for my paid clients, but you can go and either line it up or you can message me and um, you can send me some cash app if you want it. Um, but what I am going to do is show you how to do it right now and that you need to check your template and make sure that whatever one you're using, don't just look at it on a desktop. Do to design it all on a desktop. You got to make sure, once again, though, this is really, really important, that your name and what it is you do is lined up there. Now, people get it confused because you think you have to put all this information on the header. Absolutely not. There's a thing as white space. And you're gonna confuse people when you give too much information. Nobody wants to read all that. They don't care. All people care is what's your name? What is it that you do? Maybe I'll follow you, maybe I will. You got, it's split seconds. Like I talked about on Monday, there's two seconds. So the header needs to look super professional, clean and top of the line. If you want high ticket sales, I want high ticket sales. It's the same amount of sales calls to make a $100 deal as a $5,000 deal. Guess which one I want? 5,000. Now, obviously I have to build up my value enough. That's a different talk for a different day about how to uh, create that. And I have systems for this and I help my clients do that. But again, what we're looking at right now is the header, making sure you design it. So now I'm gonna show it to you on the screen and, and how to do this. Now, here's the things you need to include. Don't look at these templates. They don't make sense. Like I will show, let me give you the example why. Like one that would work would be a centered one, but not really, okay? Because you see these ones over here on the left, say yes, you do. Yes, I see that a header is on the left. Do you see how none of these would actually work on a Facebook header? Don't be deceived with just because a company gives you a template. That's not a professional marketer. Now these would work on a Facebook business page. I, I will share with you the Facebook business page really quick. Uh, the Facebook business pages are laid out differently even on the phone. Uh, they, this one even doesn't show the full text on a cell phone though. I need to scoot it over. So see how the image is to the left and this is here. So that's why I have a different layout. But what I'm talking about today, and this is why I went into the psychology of this on the first part of this phone, uh, this, this training, is that you've got to center this differently because 
there's a picture here. And again, when you see it on a phone, this all centers in that picture goes there. You need to make sure that it looks good on the pro on a desktop and on a phone. Say that with me now. Make sure your designs always look good on a desktop and on a phone. This goes for websites and all that, but I'm talking specifically about your profile. So let me go share this with you. If anybody wants this template, I'll I'll do it for like cash at me 20 bucks or something and send me a message. So here's the thing that took me uh, like hours to do it correctly. I'd say one hour and I'm a professional. So if I was going to design this for somebody, like I was working on something with um, my dad's company, just sold up his business. And so we're rebranding him. So what you want to do is make sure there's a picture of you here um, and then make sure all your images match differently. Right? So if I was going to put like, um, let's say it was my dad's name instead. Um, and he does a uh, design and business strategy. So let's say I did this and I would change it to like his picture, of course, which isn't mine. Let's see, let's see if he did. Like you don't have to say everything you do. You just need to um, explain what it is you do. Cause once again, the longer phrasing goes somewhere else. Dad looks so much like me. Okay, I think I took a picture of him. Let me go see. Um, but let's say like it, it let's say that it he didn't have a picture of himself. Like I don't have a picture of himself right now. So another option you could do is like once you line this up, is I could do a totally different design. Let's see what we could do. Like I could go get a desktop. I'm just gonna share this with you guys because there's lots of options and it's also a guy. So if you're a man, like you can see there's options. So let's say it was a computer design. Let's say he liked this one, for example. So I would make sure, do you see where I put that font? Like I would send this to him and I would just make sure like this is all lined up. I feel like, let's go see, let's put it there. Design branding and business strategy. Let's see if I do it like that. And then maybe I put a little line under there. Like I say a line. Um, and then if he used this, I should have like had somebody try this out with me. He could do this, but the reason I know that's going to work is I already lined it up with mine. So like this, I know will work for him. So when this ends up coming up, it's going to come up perfectly the way that mine did. See here. Okay. So this is really, really important guys to make sure like clearly you can change it. Like you see how I just changed all that, but it's about spacing. And I'm going to take this one and go see if there's a different photo. Sometimes what I do, what I like in canvas, you can duplicate stuff. So let's say my client or someone like they liked a different look. So like maybe he liked this one better. Obviously this one doesn't work there. Let's go grab this one. So maybe we do something like this, right? So it's kind of got this, this vibe, but see how this one, this image isn't working. The image, say it with me, is not as important as the lineup of your word because you can only put that wording right there. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So what you do is you get the wording where it's at. So, you know, it's not going to be cut off. And then you go find an image that matches. Like, I feel like my dad would like this one. So let's say I did this and then I could change the, the, uh, like the, well, he doesn't like coffee. It's not, it's not authentic, but I think the black part is kind of like him. Um, he likes tea though. That could be tea. Um, but I think because it's design and branding, you want it to match your vibe. And like, guys, listen, everything just needs to look really, really high end. If that means you buy, you pay for $12 and 95 cents for Canva. I promise you people that are complaining about these little fees. I get it when you don't have it. You guys got to figure it out. Sometimes if you can't invest in, um, an image that costs $12 and 95 cents or to get like all these pro images, then how are you going to be in business? It costs money to make money. And I'm not even sharing with you like a ton of money. Uh, Let's see, I liked this one a little bit. Let me see if this one come back. Let's see, there's a little Eiffel Tower thing. Like this one's kind of nice, let me see. And what's cool too, it's just, it's not lining up. The other thing you can do though, is you can also make things a little transparent, but I don't, I don't think that looks as good. So I think this one looks pretty good. You can always go find it. The other things you can do with your like, just to, just to show you is you could always, like you could grab something like this. Let's say it was your coloring and you do it like this, 
right? So that one's nice too, but it, it's like, there kind of needs to be a box. So sometimes that's why I like to grab like, let's say one of these colors. And so maybe we do like something like this and you um, position it backwards. So it's just so, so stuff's like a little cut off. Um, and the reason I like to do the picture here, like if he had a picture that I, had of him let's say this was my dad's picture let's just go get um a picture let's say and then designing i don't know they're guys so you can always grab like you could do something like that it could be like it could be something like this even so let's say i take my picture and i put it back there okay and then I come and replace it with this one. So it could be something like that too. So let's pretend one of those was my dad. And then do you see what I mean? So this is going to look really good online. Like I like it better this way. And I, and I do like the fade out of another color. So let's go position this backward. I'm just giving you guys options. This is design stuff and I'm gonna stop after this call. <laughs> Not after the, this call. Let's say I wanted to take this blue color and fade it out a little bit. So you still see it behind there, but it gives it this element. And even this one, I could uh, trans make it a little transparent. But do you see what I mean? So what people, then it looks super professional. What do you think is the difference? Somebody put this in the comments, like, come on, go look at your header. Does it look this professional guys? Is this, is this, is it like this? Is it like this one? Is it like this one? It's time to up level. If you don't up level yourself, they're not going to pay you money. So again, you get two seconds. So let's keep moving on. So let's say you redid your header. Okay. So number one is a header that is your name. It's your logo and it shares exactly what it is you do. Okay. So I'm going to just go replace this one. This is how you re replace it. I'm going to say business and automation. We'll say strategist. Um, I'll say, what should I call myself? What have I done? I'll just say that one. So I'll, I'll re-download this one. Let's say I wanted to change the background. I'll just download it right now. I'm, I'm like, this is what happens when you're a designer. I'm like, stop the insanity. Don't re-download it. Like you just showed them all these things. I give you guys all these options. Look how cool this is. So the point is start with the text and fill in from there to make sure it fits. And this is where you go to change it. So if I went update, uh, cover photo, I'm going to drag this to the desktop and you can re resize it. So you're going to go upload photo and it's going to change a little bit just as I um, had this other color on there instead. So it just depends what you're wanting to do with it all. Okay. So let's see. Sometimes when I'm screen sharing and I'm live, the computer, I'm going to say it's going to go so fast. So it's going to look a little bit different now and that's fine. Oh, that's not the right one. So this is my high achiever society. This is a different photo. Let's go see if the right photo would be there. It's this one. Let's go see. Huh. Okay, it's this one. All right, so see what's gonna happen. So see where that's at. And so we can do that, press save changes, and now it's a little different, okay? So that's number one is starting at the top. Now, the part we're gonna draw your attention to now is the profile picture. You need to make sure it's a photo of yourself smiling. It's just proven, a smiling image of yourself up close and personal. Um, do not have a crazy background. Do not have other people in it. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if you have children that you love. Put yourself in the photo. You are the professional guys. And if you don't have pro photos, barter with somebody, get some pro photos, do it ASAP. Uh, most of these are selfies though. You can also set stuff up. I'll show you something real quick. You guys ready for this? I've got a light ring right here and I've got this. You can put a phone in something like this, okay? You can go stand apart. You can do a 10 second timer and take some selfies if you need. Do your hair, do your makeup if you're a woman, dress in a suit, get your stuff um, done. Like guys, go take this serious. This is about, you have to prepare to receive the money. Pre treat your profile like it's a money-making machine. That's how we roll, okay? So let's go keep moving on. Okay, so there's that smiling picture. Put it in the comments, smiling picture. Now, let's go down here to the left. 
edit bio. Okay, so if you have a bunch of bazillion things for like most people, go delete them all today. It doesn't matter where you went to college. I, I have prestigious colleges. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you live right now. It doesn't matter who you're marrying to. What you need, it, I mean, it matters. You guys know what I'm saying about business people don't care what they care about is how can i get a hold of you do you have a free offer do you have a website and then a call to action and we're going to get to this image in a minute so what i'm going to cover today just so you know we're almost there is i'm going to cover the header which i spent a lot of time on and i spent a lot of time in psychology smiley picture you need to have an edit bio with emojis on either side of it to draw the attention you need to tell people exactly what it is you do and how you're going to get them to their goals okay you need to have it connected to your business page. Okay, this goes to my business page. This is a call to action, a funnel. If you don't have a funnel, you, we should be in touch. You're, you're leaving a ton of money on the table, okay? That a funnel is an automated way to collect leads and sales so that while you're busy living life, people can sign up on your email list. Like right now, I just sent an email to over 12,000 people from all the people who have signed up on my free offer. So with the click of one button, instead of sending one message, if I Facebook message one person, it takes the same amount of time to email 12,000. Okay. And then a website. That's it. That should be over here. Now let's talk about the featured image. Now your images might look like this where there's a bunch of photos. What you need to do is go edit featured and you need to delete all the photos that are there. There's something like, I think they'd allow nine. You need to delete all the photos and you're going to upload a photo. That's a business call to action. Put that in the comments, upload a photo. That's a business call to action. It is a square size. Okay, it's a square size. And so what you wanna do is over here in Canva, again, like, let me go to some templates for you. Um, and if you don't have a website and if you don't have things, then get them on a free call. Why did men designing urinals come up? Come on, like, why does this happen on a live stream? <laughs> Okay, so um, if we go to a square image, right? So you can do all kinds of square images. I'll just come over here and edit one. So let's say that I was going to put this one here instead because I kind of like this design. So I could say um, business in a box. Um, and then I could do with Tiana Smith or something. I don't like the font down there though. So I would say, and then I might take this. You want it to be a call to action. This is a lot of information. I'm just gonna say it. And I'm just gonna put this up here. There's that, there's this, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into Canva. It's gonna be square. You can use an Instagram template, whatever. It can look like a bunch of things. I'm gonna download this. Page two, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger because it is my main. Um, I'm gonna go download page two, okay? And this is where you go. So delete all the other images and you need to just have one featured image. That's how you do this. And you need to have a call to action so people know how to do that. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go grab, I'm gonna delete this one, okay? And then I'm gonna, I think, if, no, it's not gonna let me do it. Okay, let's go upload photo downloads let's go to friday that's what the name of the title was i've literally had this computer like a week and there's so many downloads welcome to a designer and marketer's life let's see if it's gonna there we go okay so it just depends what you're wanting to market. You can market a free strategy call, you can market a sale, but really you always wanna market something free. It could be download my free offer, but I like to get people on a call because if somebody's interested, I'll always send them a free offer. So press save when you're done. And this is how you get the one featured image. And that's it guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through each piece one more time and we're gonna be good, do this in under 30 minutes. I'm, I'm literally in under 30 minutes telling you the secrets to setting up your business so that it can truly start to close tons more clients for you. And it's not gonna be automated. I'm saying message me for a free strategy call. That means I'm getting on a call. Okay, so if any of you watching this are like, so I'm liking this vibe better. So like, let's say this, I wanted to edit a little bit or something, I still could. So again, let's, this is edit featured. You delete all the pictures that are there and you add just one. That's how you get that there, okay? Now, when we're up here, we do the header, as I mentioned in Canva. Um, if you want my template, you can cash out me 20 bucks. I'll send it to you or you can just go and play with it. Um, and if you don't know what cash app is, or I can invoice you, whatever, just message me and I'll give you all these templates. You can play with them. 
Um, and again, like if you're a man, you can do it different ways. You can do it like this, but the point is you start with the fonts, make sure those fit. And then you always have to double check everything. Always say it with me, always double check everything on the phone too. So I'm going to hold it up. So now this is what it looks like on the phone, right? And so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, share screen. Let's try something real quick. You guys ready for it? I'm going to, I'm going to show you this on the, um, the iPhone as well. So that, um, I'm waiting for it to show up so that you can see the difference. Okay. Oh, let me stop the share. Is it showing mine? Let's try it again. Share screen iPhone. Let's do it there. Okay. I don't see it popping up. Okay, connect your iPhone. I'm connecting it. Do you guys see my screen, my iPhone screen? Can you type in number two in the comments if you see my iPhone? Okay, I'm not seeing it pop up, so I'm just gonna hold it up. Okay, so on the phone, this is what it looks like. So on the computer, it's left, 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 right? Center, left, left. But on the iPhone, it's just straight down. So do you notice that um, this one, I could probably bring it up a little bit. Do you see how that's the specialist isn't lining up? So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go edit that one because I used a different design than the original. So I need to move everything up a little. So how do I do that? Well, what I would do is I'm going to look at it. I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to be like, all right, everything needs to move up a little bit. So I'm just going to share with you how to how to adjust things because that's just life. So this was probably an older design. I'm gonna move everything up a little bit, okay? Like there. And then that means I need to move these things up a little bit too though. So don't forget to move everything up, okay? And then that means like I'm adjusting the pink too. So I'm gonna do it there and let's try it again. Let's go page one, download, cause I use a different download, so. Let's go try it again. So again, right now that that text was cut off. So now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to re I'm going to re put it on the desktop. I'm just going to say replace. I'm going to go up to this left corner, update cover photo, upload photo. And then I'm going to come um, up to my desktop. And let's go see which one it was. I think it was this one. So this one should work. Now you're going to see it slightly move up. Okay. And sometimes you can just drag it, but they've gotten stricter about that. Like it doesn't let you move it. Okay. So now I'm going to stop this share. So you can see it looks okay here. I'm going to stop this share though, because most people are checking. Do you see where it was? That's before I refresh it. I'm going to pull it down to refresh it. And now you can see it. See, so it moved the text up enough where it says business and automation specialist. And you can read that. Okay. So then on the phone also, there is what it is you do. Okay, do you see how that works? And I know it's probably like the screen is a little weird, it's uh, opposite, but it says what I do. Then it's got my links underneath there. And then it's got my call to action featured image. Now, does this not make me look a ton more professional than a picture like, oh, I'm just out here by the beach, which is great. Um, or just like a header of the ocean. Like, look, look, maybe some people prefer that. And you might be like, I prefer that. Well, that's cool, but I'm in business to make money. And any opportunity that people can see what I'm doing, I'm not on social media to make a bazillion friends. I don't need to be popular. The only thing I wanna do is make impact and influence to teach people how to make money and as many people as possible. And that requires people knowing what it is I do so that then they can learn to do the same thing. That's like saying like you, you, it's like saying a clothing brand shouldn't put their logo on stuff. You guys, you're your brand and wherever the brand is, if you're online and just having fun, that's fine, but you need to have a Facebook profile to also just do business with. So if you want a private one for your friends, then great, go ahead and do that. Do a separate one, but you've got to be growing a network with your Facebook profile as well. I mean, Look, when I say you gotta, I'm saying if you choose to do this, look, you can do whatever you want. But I'm saying if you're watching this and you're interested in learning how to close, uh, like create amazing sales from your Facebook profile, which is also when I teach marketing, I connect it to my Instagram and to my Facebook business page. It's all this huge like circular thing, but I'm telling you my highest converting, highest referral system is my Facebook profile. 
So I'm teaching you what I've learned. I'm teaching you what I know. I'm teaching you what works. And so I'm excited to share that with you. So again, go get it done. I'll share it with you one more time. We're going to run through it. We're going to rock it. Up top, you got to have your name and what it is you do. And you need to have to make sure this looks good mobile. Smiley, happy face. One statement with emojis. Clear the, all this up and one featured image with a call to action. Explaining a little bit about what you do. So if you're interested in learning more, you guys know how to reach out to me. I am here. If you have any questions from this video, please feel free to put it in the comments. I will go through and answer every single question. I love questions. I love coaching. I love helping. This video will be down in 24 hours and then available on um, a paid program that I'm offering. So I wanted to go live though and share with all of you guys, if I could help somebody really learn uh, what's really required to make money online and not from people saying like, listen, can I, can I just be real with you guys real quick? Okay. Um, and I'm going to stop my recording. So that's it on that recording. Now I'm going to stop the recording and get all real. Should I keep the recording going? <laughs> like, Let's just, get, let's get real. I'll just keep the recording going because maybe somebody needs to hear this. Look at, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups. You guys ready for some real talk? I'm in a lot of Facebook groups with a lot of entrepreneurs and I've seen people who I've even been on sales calls with and they've even taken some of my information. And this is, this isn't calling people. I don't believe in this, but th this is the point. You have to be careful. And they're like, Oh, I've written this long article. And I know that person hasn't even ever made $500 a month. Look, I've, I've shared screenshots. I don't love to do it. Nobody really likes it, but I, I have proof of concept in many ways and many testimonials. You can go to my website. You can go to attractclientsmethod.com. You can hear video after video after video about people saying how this system works. Okay. And part of my system is always, this is a part of it. Even if there's funnels and all that, this is one of the ways I teach to get people into your funnels. Okay. So what I'm saying is this is a proven concept. This is not a guessing game. This is something that works over and over and over again if you do the work. The only reason this doesn't work is when you don't show up for people, when you stop posting on social, when you start to be like, ah, I'm gonna post a picture of my family all the time, or I'm gonna post this. No, look, you're a business. Consider yourself, like I've mentioned, Lululemon, Macy's, McDonald's, post like that, post on brand. Like I've said before, the McDonald's CEO, they're not on social media posting pictures of their family vacation. Look, when you're personal brand, it's a little different, but the point is people are overdoing it. I can tell you the things that people, most people are doing wrong. They don't have anything in place like what I just taught you. And if they do, they're either overselling and they're also, they're not, they don't have proof of concept. So whatever you are sharing, this is just a side note with marketing, only share what you know. Don't be taking somebody else's results and let's say you even worked with the coach and teaching that system. If you've not helped seven figure earners, if you've not gone six figures with it, don't say you have, don't say you can help people. If you've not start wherever you're at, you can always take somebody up from the step below authenticity, honesty, integrity is where this is all at. Now I can speak from this because guys, I I've been doing this years and years and years. When I first started, I didn't promise those things. I was like, Hey, I'm going to post on your social media and I can bring in clients. That's what I knew how to do. And that's what I did. Then when I had results with that, I went to the next level. Start wherever you're at. But the point is, wherever you're at, you can make it look like a million bucks. I can show you how to do that. That's what I just taught you to do today. But maybe you don't have the design skills, you don't have the templates. Message me, we can chat. The point though is, please set yourself up for massive success. Treat yourself like the brand. If you want to be a brand, if you want to be um, in the six figure and seven figure range, it has to start now. It doesn't just happen. It is the concept to build it and they will come. Okay. That just, it, it's, you, you have to step out on faith. You have to switch things around. You have to be uh, okay with people unfriending you. Who cares? Like if, again, if they're not paying your bills and they're not raising your children, it does not matter. Other people's opinions don't matter. People change their opinions all the time. I change my opinion all the time. It, it's not about that. It's like, be a brand, make money. And if you're in business to make money, make as much money as possible. That's how this works. So I'm glad to be here today. I'm a straight talk uh, a training. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and put a fake smile on my whole face because I'm just going to talk to you. And I, I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm happy about it. But like, when, you know, I take this serious, this pays my car payment, this pays my rent, this pays my bills, this um, pays for vacations, this pays for the clothes I'm wearing. You know, what's that, those songs that are like, 
the girls I'm, let's see, the rocks I'm wearing, I bought it. The clothes I'm wearing, I bought it. I depend on me if I want it. Beyonce, like, all the women who are independent, throw your hands up at me. Like, come on. So if you want to be independent, whether you're a man or a woman, and whether you have a family or not, you have to be independent and you got to go for it. So I'm not, you can follow somebody and look at their lifestyle, vet them out, be real, look at your feel from your gut and go do this work. You can change your life. You can change your business. You got to let go of some things. If you've not done it yet, then something's not working. And the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So if I'm teaching you something today that feels uncomfortable, but I have a different result than you have had, maybe listen. You don't even have to hire me. I just showed you how to do it. Now, if you want to hire me, send me a message. I've got courses at amazing payment plans starting at $197 a month in order to get all this where you actually step-by-step step, I teach you how to build it. Or you can work with me and I can just help you do it all and I'll give you all my courses as a bonus. But either way, you just I gave you some amazing tools. I give you step-by-step. Step. And this video is going to be here. You can go back to it, press pause over my Canva times. So you can fast forward. You've got till 11 a.m. tomorrow to get it done. So God bless you guys. I'm Tiana with tianasmithcoaching.com. Reach out to me. I do have two very special things. I'm giving a $5,000 um, cashback incentive to my 10K program. Um, there's two people I would like to help them get some massive results in the next eight weeks if you're committed to truly doing the work, showing up week, every week, um, working with me on your strategy and going for it. I will offer you a special pricing on my highest program so that you can get it done. So message me if interested and I hope you guys have a beautiful blessed day. See you soon.